74-year-old Bishop Emeritus of Belize, Bishop Derek Wright, was laid to rest this morning. Bishop passed away at 525 on April 15th. He spent his life serving the Catholic Church and was priest for almost 40 years, and then elevated to bishop in which he served for 18 years. A mobile funeral procession was held this morning, which began at 830 from the Carl Huchin Memorial Hospital morgue. The procession passed several churches over Belize City. Several persons were outside of their home waiting to view the procession as it drove by. Love News spoke to one of the onlookers, Sister Clara Teul, who is also the president for the Belize Catholic Association of Principals of Secondary Schools. He was, I consider him a spiritual father for the nation. And one of his legacy is to fight for morality and to stand up for what is right and just. Just as his name said it, Bishop Wright. And um, he had a sense of humor. His dry sense of humor was very outside. I used to admire that about him. As the years went by when he got sick, he spent some time here at the infirmary at Paloti. So his legacy as a spiritual father, a legend, and his clear voice of authority dictated to shaping a culture of life in Belize. Um, one dignified life, one heroic messenger, one in life and in death will forever remind us of the righteous righteousness that he exalted in our nation. After the procession, a funeral mass took place at the Holy Redeemer Cathedral at 10, led by Bishop Lawrence Nicasio, who recollected various cheerful times he had with Bishop Wright. To always give Bishop Wright trouble when I would call. And uh, he'd answer, this is Bishop Wright. And then I would say, is this Bishop Wright from the Anglican Church? And then he, he knows, then he said, Father Larry, stop your fool. It was always his response, and I did it several times, because his only response, this is uh, Bishop Wright. And in many other moments, I would give, uh, give him a hard time or, or laugh at the, uh, at the situation. One major one, and I'm sure he might be smiling, always mentioning that Bishop Larry went to an all-girls high school. It was his big fun at our priest meeting. He went to an all-boys high school. Aston High School became uh, co-ed after a number of years. When we talked about the funeral, I said, and then who will preach for you? He looked at me and he said, you? I said, okay, now I, I need to look at what I need to put together to preach for you. And it took a while. I wanted to go down a list of all his jokes. And I said, no, but he chose a reading, a gospel reading. And I base my homily and that gospel reading from Matthew. Bishop Wright will be missed by many, as expressed by Sister Teo, but he will be watching over us all. May his soul rest in peace. I know he loved to sing, and I believe he's the cherubim and the seraphim and the dominions of angels singing along with him in heaven now. And may his soul rest in peace, that there is no more pain, no more sorrow as he went to meet his heavenly father in paradise. So we pray for his eternal rest that one day he will be rejoicing in heaven as we all gain a guardian angel to pray for us now and to intercede for us. Bishop Wright was a vocal representative for the conservatives in the local Catholic diocese and was behind the filing for an appeal when Section 53 was ruled as unconstitutional. Reporting for Love News, I am Alicia Valentine.